Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about uh, ANN based MBBET applied to solar PV powered water pumping system using BLDC. So, thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So, first we are going to see about uh, this. A topology edge of uh, ANN based MBPT for solar PV powered uh, water pumping application using VLDC motor. So, here you can see that uh, block diagram for the proposed system. So, it consists of uh, PV array and then uh, DC to DC plus converter and then three phase voltage source inverter and then build this motor with the water pumping arrangement and also it would have uh, neural network MBPT so it received two inputs one is solar radiation and cell temperature and then output will be the reference voltage that mean max voltage at maximum point for the different irradiation temperature condition so here we have to compare this reference voltage with the actual PV panel voltage after that we have to process via PA controller so PA controller generate the duty cycle the duty cycle going to be processed via pedulip generator the pedulip generator uh, generate the pulse for this IGPT or MOSFET in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel so next stage we have to use the uh, that means here we are going to control the build DC motor. So based upon Hall sensor and then uh, DC link voltage. Okay. So here we are going to generate uh, that means measure the Hall sensor. After the after that sensing the Hall sensor output right, it is going to be converted into uh, switching pulses for S1 to S6 of the voltage source motor. Okay. Here. Uh, next we have to uh, measure the DC link voltage here and then it will be compared with uh, some reference DC voltage and it will be processed by a PA controller and then process by a PWM generator and then it will generate the pulse. So this pulse and uh, the pulse from this uh, switching sequence generated will be ended together and then final pulse will be given to the the switches in the voltage source in order to control the build DC motor. Okay, so this is operation of this uh, ANN MBP to apply to the solar PV powered water pumping application using build DC motor. So this is going to be implemented in the MATLAB swimming environment. So let's start with the MATLAB implementation of this. Okay, so here in order to design this process okay so first you have to fix the rating of this build dc motor okay so here i'm going to use rating of the build dc motor from some standard manufacturing data so here you can see that so this rating of uh, build dc motor so the voltage rated voltage is 48 volt and the rated power is 500 watts, rated torque is 1.27, and then uh, rated speed is uh, 3000 rpm, and rated current is 7.4 amps. And then uh, here you can see that voltage constant, torque constant, and the moment of inertia, and then uh, resistance and inductance of the build DC motor. Okay, so this data is going to be used for uh, designing the build DC motor. So this can be designed uh, by using this one option is available in the uh, this block right complete from standard manufacturer specification right just you have to click this one and then feed the detail right so just you have to choose trapezoidal and then type that uh, resistance will be 0.94 and then inductance equal to 1.19 and then select the torque constant and then torque constant is uh, in terms of uh, newton meter per amps right so this value is 0 0.128 and then uh, next you got to type moment of inertia 
so kg centimeter square so this value is 0 0.51 so and then click this complete block parameter side after clicking that one you will get the parameter for this uh, well dc motor right so you can use this value in order to design that 500 watts uh, well dc motor okay the same thing will be applied here right so this machine is now is rated at 500 watts and 48 volt right so next so the, uh, the rating of build is motor is 500 watts so we need to select that uh, solar pv panel also right so before that uh, we need to make this uh, build is motor as a uh, water pump right so for that uh, we need to clear so you have to find out some k value right uh, that mean uh, yeah this k value so this k will be calculated based upon this formula so k equal to power divided by uh, omega cube so omega nothing but the angular speed right so here the power is 500 watts right 500 watts and then uh, rate speed is 3000 rpm right so based upon the uh, value you have to calculate k and then you have to find out the relation between torque and the uh, speed right okay so normally the relation with torque and speed will be uh, the torque equal to that means load torque which is equal to k into omega square so this relation of that uh, load torque and the speed of the wheel dc motor when we have to apply wheel dc motor in the water pumping application okay so next process uh, you have to calculate k value so calculation of k value here is that value of k is 1.6126 e power minus 5 okay so now this uh, build this motor can be act as a mm, water pump okay and then uh, here you can see that we are measuring the hall sensor output so the hall sensor output is converted into back emf and then back emf going to be converted into getting pulse right for that uh, voltage source in water so this is act as a voltage source in water okay so next next you have to here you can so this is a uh, dc dc boost converter right so here we have to measure the uh, converter output voltage and compare with the some reference voltage so here we are going to fix reference voltage is 60 okay so you have to maintain a voltage across this voltage source inverter that means input of voltage source inverter around 60 volt right so and then when we process via pa3 controller and then process via speed volume generator so it will generate the pulse speed volume pulse so that when we ended with the, the switching sequence from this getting generator get get generator right so and finally it, be, it going to be given to that the sold source inverter to control the vld motor. okay so next you have to that mean uh, the power of the vld motor is 500 watts already i told right so we need to select the pv panel rating so here we are using the PV panel, right? Single panel rating is around uh, 250 watts, right? So I'm going to take a series that mean uh, single that mean a single series model, and then um, uh, that mean we are going to use two uh, PV panel. The PV panel can be connected in parallel, right? So here you can see that uh, series string is one and then parallel string is two, right? That mean uh, when connected in parallel. Uh, it increase the current rating but we, uh, we have to maintain the voltage across the panels around uh, 30.7 at the standard uh, uh, testing condition okay so these are the uh, rating of this pv panel right so based upon this rating right uh, pv panel rating and uh, build dc motor rating so you have to design this uh, dc dc converter right so here we design that mean uh the voltage across this uh, panel will be around 30.7 and then voltage across this uh, panel is 60 volt right and then you have to fix the output current and the ripple factor of the ripple factor for the inductor that means ripple uh, inductor current factor and then uh, ripple voltage percentage right everything you have to fix and then you have to design the value of l and c okay and next you have to see about the MPPT algorithm so here you can see that we have to use MPPT algorithm so if you want to know more about that MPPT algorithm you can uh, see my 
early video so you can go my youtube channel and then you can check the uh, and neural network in ppt concept so already we posted that uh, working of the neural network in ppt so you can get more detail on that right so here you can see that this is neural network in ppt it received two inputs one is irradiation and then temperature so output will be reference holding the main voltage at maximum power point reference so it will be compared with the p panel voltage actual p panel voltage and process via pad controller and then video will generate so it will generate the pulse for this igpt in order to extract the maximum power from the p panel okay so this is a mbpt algorithm employed in the solar pv system right that mean an and based mbpt so now uh, i'm going to fix initially radiation equal to 1000 and then you have to check the results of the system okay so here you can see that um, there are different scope is there right so this scope used for measuring the PV power, converter power, PV voltage and converter voltage and then this is used for measuring the stator current and EM of, of the VLDC motor so this is used for measuring the rotor speed and then so this is used for uh, measuring the electromagnetic torque and then so this is used for measuring line to line voltage of the VLDC motor okay so now I am going to simulate this model So here you can see that uh, here uh, we are fixing irradiation to 1000 and uh, temperature 25 degrees Celsius. So P P V power is around uh, 500 watts and converter power is around uh, nearer to 500. That means it's less than P V power. And then here you can see the P V voltage is around 30.7. And then here the converter voltage is maintained at uh, 60 watt because we set the reference voltage is 60 in, in that uh, DC in voltage control, right? So here you can see that this is a rotor speed of the VLDC model is around 2700. So this is electromagnetic torque of the VLDC motor and then this is known as stator current and the EM of and then line to line voltage. So now I am going to change the irradiation to 500 and then you have to check the response of the system and also check the, the response of this converter voltage right. So now I am going to change this irradiation to 500 right and then you have to check the response. So now you can see that uh, uh, after changing radiation from 1000 to 500, now you can see the PV power is comes to 250 watts and then converter power also comes to nearly 240 watts and then the voltage, the PV voltage is maintained at 30.7 volt, near to 30.7 volt and also you can see that because of DC link uh, voltage uh, controller, right? The, the converter voltage maintained at uh, 60 volt, right? You want to change in irradiation condition. And then you can see the power uh, that mean rotor speed and uh, uh, torque of the machine. So it is reduced because of uh, uh, PV power, right? PV power now is 250 watts. That's why the speed of the machine is comes to 2200 RPM and torque is comes to around 0.8 Newton meter, right? So now I'm going to increase this irradiation to 1 second to 1000 and then you have to check the response of the system. So now you can see that now that so that in PV power comes to nearly 500 watts and converter power is comes to near 490 or 495 watts and then you can see that so voltage is that in PV voltage maintained at 30 volt or 30.7 volt and then converter voltage is maintained at 60 volt right because of the DC link voltage controller. Here now you can see that power that means speed of the machine is comes to 2700 rpm and torque is comes to 1.27 newton meter right so for different change in irradiation condition for varying irradiation condition the maximum power from the pv panel is extracted by means of a and bbt and also that uh, because of this uh, dc link uh, uh, voltage control the converter voltage is maintained at uh, 60 volt always for you 
for the change in irradiation condition right so this is working of an and mp tablet to the solar pv powered water pumping application using PLC motor. so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos okay thank you so much